Good morning, everybody. We made it to a Friday again. Um, we're not going to New Jersey either today. We're going up to Massachusetts, but we got to make a pit stop in Newburgh, New York. Uh, drop off a few units at a customer there, and then head on the rest of the way up to Massachusetts and uh, do a drop and hook up there in Chicopee. Um, so we'll go to Newburgh, deliver that, and then we'll bop back up 87 to uh, 90 and take that across the Mass Turnpike because. Uh, Last time I was up there, it was a non-shooting day, and uh, coming out of Chicopee to go back down to Connecticut to pick up a load in uh, Newtown reinforced the reason why I don't go through Connecticut to get to Springfield, because the there's construction right there in downtown Springfield on 91, and the traffic was backed up all the way from Springfield down into Connecticut. <laughs> so till you deal with Danbury, Scale, Waterbury, Hartford, and then the traffic jam going into Springfield, it takes... Uh, probably a good half hour, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour if you go through the Danbury scale to uh, get to Springfield. So we kind of take a roundabout way to get there. It's actually in faster with uh, all the traffic delays you get going through Connecticut. So uh, once we get uh, the paperwork and hooked up and get out of here, we'll start shooting at some point. I don't know when. Uh, depends on lighting situations because it's 4 30. Well, it's. 3.43 right now, we're going to leave between 4 and 4.30, and it'll be dark uh, most of the way up there to the first stop. So, well, we'll talk to you when we get out there. All right, so we are in Newburgh. We are one and a half miles from our exit, 2.3 miles from the customer. Got a nice sunrise going on up there ahead of us. Um, kind of a shame that we're not going to keep going west or east here for a while. We're going to jump off here at exit 8 and uh, run it down about a mile or so to the customer. Two units, and as long as nobody's in the dock, we should be in and out of there probably in about 15 minutes or so. Be on our way up to Massachusetts. Now, I don't know that anybody's really here yet. All right, well, we are in, and that was one of the more challenging ones that I've ever done. Because <laughs> you got a straight truck in the dock to my right, and he's kind of crooked, and the mirror is, like, right in my path. So I had to kind of squeeze it in um, between him and a block wall, and it took me about three, four times to get it in here. And what didn't help was all these taxi cabs like to use this as a way to make a U-turn. They come up out of Newburgh and turn left onto the street that this place is on, go up around the block and come back out and go back into Newburgh. So all of a sudden I had a whole bunch of them piled up there and I had to pull out and let them go through and so forth and so on and it was just annoying. <laughs> Alright, we'll talk to you later. He's about to unload okay, me. Okay, here's what I'm going to show you. See how close the trailer is to this guy's mirror here. He's, um kind of crooked in his dock and he's got he's right on the line there and that mirror overhangs the line which is about where I really should be I'm actually crooked right now so I didn't uh, hit his mirror now, I'll show you the street you, you kind of saw it when I was coming in here the street that I had the back in off of I had to go up there out onto the main road and try and walk it around this curb here and come in tight to this wall and there's what we have down this side of the trailer. <laughs> so not a lot of room. Alright, so we are rolling up a foggy and misty New York State Thruway here. Uh, 87 northbound. And that was one workout that I got at that delivery. All for two bundles. <laughs> um, took me four tries to get in that dock but like I showed you there it was kind of a tight squeeze between that block wall on my left and that crooked straight truck on my right and I was more worried about taking off his mirror than anything and because of it I was trying to get as close to that wall as I could to start out with and you know what was happening was I was getting in there it was jacked a little too hard and I would have put the tail of the trailer right into the wall so I had to keep pulling up and find the right little sweet spot to get it in there 
And I finally did. I had to hook the curb and, and really just walk it in there real slow. But to make matters worse is everybody wanted to keep uh, making a left and coming up that street. And so I wouldn't have it right and I'd have to pull out and then they'd have to squeeze around the back of the trailer and then I'd start the process again and then somebody else would want to come in that street. It was, uh, it was quite a workout. One of the more challenging ones I've had lately. But we did it and we got them off and we are headed up to Chicopee. I don't know if we're going to be in fog most of the morning or if it's going to break free. You saw back there I also had a nice sunrise so there's spots where it's clear out and there's spots where it's misty and foggy. So. Crossing border, entering Massachusetts. I was wondering when he was going to say something. Well, all that murkiness we had coming up here has kind of cleared off, at least for the moment. You can see we got some sunshine and some blue skies. I don't know how long it's going to last. It might be back in some cloud cover at some point today. We don't know. But for the moment, it cleared off and it turned out to be nice. Coming down this hill, um, coming off the Berkshire Mountains there at the Blanford... Uh, service plaza it's right there at the top you got a long grade down to the bottom down here and then we're 17 miles from our exit thanks for that appreciate it let's see westfield 9 springfield 20 boston 103 so coming down the hill in the westfield i couldn't think of the town down here at the bottom all right so we dropped and hooked and eating lunch right now uh got here at right around 9 35 um, trailer was empty, so all I'd do is put mine in the door and uh, swing it to the left, hook up to this one and pull it out. Um, brought it around the corner here um, and take my half hour break, eat my lunch. and uh, Once the half hour break is up, then I'll go back and uh, pre-trip it and close the doors and we'll be ready to go. So Not too bad coming up here. Um, just the murky weather at times and, um, and at times it broke free and it was uh sunny but um the hardest part of today so far was that stop in newburgh that was really a bear uh, most of the times i come there and there's no truck in that dock um or there's a trailer in the dock and i have to wait for them to get unloaded but they had a little straight truck in there and they put me in next to him and that presented quite a challenge now if he would have been on the side that i had to back into it would have been a little bit easier but i had to like i said swing it around that uh stone wall and get it in my side of the dock without taking off his driver's side mirror because of the angle that he was parked in there on so but we did it and then we got those two bundles off down there and we got up here and this was an easy drop and hook and gonna eat the sandwich and uh get going so i guess we'll just talk to you on the way back so. all right coming off of 291 on the 91 here in springfield and you'll see what i mean with this construction um It's kind of tight. You come off this ramp and you come right on the two, or on the 91 and uh, kind of hung in the left lane. And you're really not supposed to be in the left lane. It says no trucks in left lane, but you're kind of hung there. And it raises the question, do you try to get out of it and cross over to solid white line or do you stay in it? You know, it's a catch-22. Either way, you're kind of wrong because you ain't supposed to be in the left lane in a big truck, but you ain't supposed to cross the solid white line. So I don't know which is the lesser of two evils, but... Anyway, that being said, we're going to find out what traffic is like down here on the other side of this construction zone. Because the last time I came up here, um, like I said, it was backed up all the way into Connecticut. Now, maybe at this time, it's um, 10.30. Maybe it's not so jammed up this time. But yeah, the last time coming into this construction zone, it was, like I said, backed up all the way down into Connecticut. So we'll see what we got, but yeah, this is pretty tight in through here. I don't know when they're gonna finish this project up. They've been working on it forever, improving this. Uh, it's like a bridge that goes over the downtown area. <laughs> and they've been working on it forever. Now here's the sign up here. We got a solid white line, but we got a sign that says no trucks in left lane. So which is it? Do you cross the solid white line or do you follow that sign? <laughs> Now 
guess at this point we'll just ride it out until we get a broken line to come across. Alright, so we just came down to Port Jervis Hill in New York State and we're going to cross the Delaware River right here. And Thomas is going to speak here in a little bit and he's going to whisper sweet nothings in my ear. Take it away, Tom. Come on. Crossing border, entering Pennsylvania. And that was the sweet nothing that I wanted to hear. I am so glad to be back in the state of Pennsylvania today. Um, it's been kind of a crazy day once I got up into Massachusetts, coming back through Connecticut and even New York. Um, real heavy traffic. Now, it's thinned out some here. It's kind of nice and relaxing again, but the traffic was so heavy up there today. And it was people that either wanted to do 80 miles an hour or wanted to do 55 miles an hour. It's like there was no in between. You catch up the people that were lollygagging it, and they get out in the passing lane, and before you knew it, you had somebody right on your tail, and they couldn't even wait for you to get past the one you were passing and put a safe uh, distance between before you moved back right. They were jumping out from behind you and passing you on the right. Uh, just kind of one of those days once like I said once I got into Massachusetts uh, More so after I delivered I was coming back empty So kind of nice to be back in the home state. We've got 101 miles from this point to park in this truck for the weekend and, I mean it hasn't been a terrible day, but it's just been a, a Bit of a stressful day with the traffic and of course that first thing that first stop with uh, struggling to get it in that dock with that straight truck parked there. So uh, that wasn't the easiest of days. It was a nice run, but it wasn't the easiest of days. We are back in the home state. Uh, gonna enjoy the ride across the Poconos here. We get to Scranton, jump on 81, and take that back down there to Hazleton. So, weather cleared off. It's nice out. It's temperature. <coughs> 79 degrees, almost 80 degrees, even up this far north. So a nice warm, summery type day. Uh, can't beat that. So finally, we get to relax a little bit here and ride across the Poconos. And then when we get back there and park it, we'll talk to you and finish out the video. All right. Well, we're back. Drop the trailer. Park the tractor fixing to go in and take our paperwork inside so another Friday is in the books, another week is in the books. Um, I gotta go in there and uh, ask her about starting later on Monday. My grandson has a 3 p.m. Little League game, fall ball, um, baseball game, and it's about 30 miles away from the house, so the wife wants me to ask for a later start so I can go see this game. And, uh, I'd like to see the game too, but we'll see what happens. All I can do is ask. Depends on how the freight is and how the scheduling is. But we'll see what we can do, but that's it for this week. We will talk to you on Monday.